Could they get something from the table toppers? Another good crowd in in the Tallah Stadium and it's Shamrock Rovers setting the early tempo. Jack Byrne, good ball to pick out Dan Carr. Too much pace from him. Finn's shot was blocked there. Was there a handball? That's the question being asked by Aaron Green, though. Ronan Finn disappointed that he didn't get the shot and target. Shamrock Rovers being allowed to play with the ball in their own half and not much pressure being applied by Sligo Rovers. Here's Jack Byrne. Oh, that's a great pass to pick out O'Brien. Good cross, blocked away. Sligo living on the edge as Shamrock Rovers up the tempo. Here goes Ronan Finn. Twardek can't catch him. Carr on the outside. Jack Byrne. Nice cross, Green! Well, his celebrations stifled by the offside flag. Romeo Parks and uh, Cawley trying to get something going for Sligo Rovers, but look at the difference between the two Rovers, Shamrock Rovers winning the ball back quickly. Finn, Jack Byrne, chance to shoot! Oh, great save! Tipped over by Mitchell Beanie. Green holding the ball up well. Nice ball for Trevor Clark to run into. Too much pace for Moran. Dangerous cross. And it's put behind by Lewis Banks. Surely Rovers will make a breakthrough soon. Jack Byrne to swing in this corner. And Dan Carr has got a touch on it. And it's in. 39 minutes gone. And Carr with the Robbie Keane-like celebrations. And it's Robbie Keane who's watching him from the stands. Rovers again with acres to run into. Cars cross. Only half cleared. Back to McInneth. Picks out Aaron Green. Oh, that almost squeezed in. Mitchell Beanie got down well to make the save. Greg Bulger. He's had a quiet game so far, but he hasn't needed to do too much. But that was a strong challenge. And here's Dan Carr with some space. And Carr is just a whisker away from extending Rovers' lead. Dan Carr. Picking out Trevor Clark. Racing away from Morahan. Across comes McFadden. Oh, and he slipped the Sligo Rovers captain. Finn. McInef, Byrne, lovely pass, Finn is in here, the pullback, and Carr puts it wide. Well, Ronan Finn could have gone for goal himself, very unselfish play. Sligo Rovers putting some passes together for the first time in the game. Dunleavy finding Twardek. The Canadians cross is good, and the header from Coughlin. The first attempt by a Sligo Rovers player, and it's come in the 61st minute. Lopez clears. Cawley battling, but there's Jack Byrne bursting forward, and a lovely pass to pick out Aaron Green. Can he get the goal he deserves? Blocked again. And Finn with the follow-up to make it 2-0. Well, that scoreline properly reflecting the golfing class here. Ronan Finn forcing Sligo Rovers into reverse. Great pressure from Shamrock Rovers as the rain continues to fall. McInef, and now Green. Oh, just wide. Well, Mitchell Beanie had to cover his near post. And Green was looking to put it in at the far. Well, it's been a great run of form for Shamrock Rovers. They have not conceded a goal from open play yet this season. Top of the league. But here come Sligo Rovers and Twardek. Well, that shot deflecting over off the substitute Sean Kavanagh. 
Still Rovers coming, looking for more. Nice one too. Jack Byrne. Oh, delightful. A real goal of the month contender. From the man of the match tonight, Jack Byrne. He has been simply irresistible. And across to take the congratulations from his coach, Stephen Bradley. And another fine pass from Byrne picks out Aaron Green. The early delivery only half cleared. Morahan. Oh, too much football on the edge of the box. And McInef has won it back. And McInef a metre wide of the far post as he tries to get in on the scoring act. Quite frankly, it could be five or six nil for Shamrock Rovers. And it's Jack Byrne again at the heart of things. Green back to Dylan Watts. And the post denies the substitute. Watts going close. Well, there goes the final whistle. An end to Liam Buckley's horror night with Sligo Rovers. Shamrock Rovers with a fine win. Rovers three, Sligo nil.